before you today to arrest, address a matter of grave concern regarding the conduct and intentions of the Ghana Police Service towards the people, uh, peaceful demonstration involved in the say no to Galamse and reoccupy Julobi House process, protest. At around 2 a.m. this morning, the police, through a press statement, signaled their intention to escalate the use of force against peaceful protesters and arrest those who have gathered to demand accountability in the fight against mining and, and environmental destruction. This announcement made in the dead of night represents a clear and deliberate attempt to intimidate and silence citizens exercising their constitutional right to assemble and protest. We condemn in the strongest terms this blatant attempt to weaponize the police force against the people of Ghana. The use of force against unarmed protesters goes against the principles of democracy and respect for human rights that our nation claims to uphold. It is particularly concerning that such intentions are being communicated without any indication to, restri to restrict negotiation and dialogue. Earlier today, our representatives wrote to the wrote to and made call several calls demanding a meeting with the police to figure out a way to work collaboratively. They informed us they were not interested in dialogue. We wish to remind the Ghana Police Service and the government that their duty is to protect the rights and safety of all citizens. Yes. Not to suppress them. Yes. The decision to escalate violence against peaceful demonstrators is not only a violation of our constitutional freedoms, but also an affront to the democratic values upon which our nation was built. We demand the following immediate cessation of the continuing continuing use of unjustified force against protesters yes. the police must withdraw their statement and co commit to de-escalating tensions we urge them to engage in constructive dialogue with protest leaders to ensure that the rights and safety of all demonstration demonstrators are protected yes. release all arrested protesters the 15 individuals including an eight year old child oh. who was unlawfully arrested during the protest must be released immediately and unconditionally this continued detention is unacceptable and undermines the rule of law. I am the grandmother of Rose Safo, the eight-year-old child who was unjustly arrested. Myself and other granddaughter, 10 years old, were released. Why? I asked for social well fair they couldn't provide rose is just a child a little girl who should be playing laughing and dreaming without fear yet in the early hours of yesterday she was torn away from the safety of her family and thrown into a situation no child should ever experience my heart breaks every moment that I should think about her small frightened face locked away and treated as if she were a criminal. We must ask ourselves a 
And this is this the Ghana we want for our children? No. A Ghana where even an eight year old is not safe from the heavy hand of the state. A Ghana where our children are used as pawns to silence those who dare to demand a better future. This cannot be our reality. No. Yeah. I am calling on all child advocacy groups, both domestic and international, the UNICEF, Save the Children World Vision, and every organization that claims to stand for the rights and protection of children. Where are you now? We need your voices, your power, and your intervention. This is not just a Gandhian problem. Yes. It is a violation of every principle we hold dear as a human family. Yes. Our children deserve to be protected, not persecuted. Our children deserve to be nurtured, not criminalized. To the government and the Ghana Police Service, how do you explain this? How do you justify the trauma you have inflicted on an innocent child? This brutality cannot go unanswered. We demand the immediate and unconditional removal and um, release of Rosafo. And we demand that those responsible for the injustice be held accountable. Today, I call upon every mother, every father, and every grandparent to stand with us. We must not allow this to be the future that our children inherit. If we do not speak up now, if we do not act now, then what hope do we have for tomorrow? How our children are watching. They are watching how we respond, how we fight, and how we protect them. Let us show them that we will ab never abandon them. Let us show them that in this moment, when they, they, when they needed us most, we stood up and fought for their right to be children, free from fear and injustice. Rose Safo is more than just a name. She is a symbol of every child's hope, every child's dream, and every child's right to live in a world where their innocence is protected. Her story must not be forgotten, and her cries must not be ignored. This is our call to action to every individual, every agency, every organization. Join us in demanding justice for us and every other child who may find themselves in the path of such brutality. We demand that the police stop this madness, release us and ensure that no child is ever again caught in the crossfire of political repression. Let this be the moment that Ghana and the world say, enough is enough. enough. Let this be the moment we unite to protect our children and to secure the future they deserve. Respect for the right to protest. We call on the authorities to also respect our right to peaceful assembly as enshrined in the 1992
constitution. The use of excessive force is not the solution to the legitimate grievances of citizens. Rather, it only serves to deepen mistrust and es escalate tensions. We want to assure the public that we rem remain resolute and committed to exercising our rights peacefully. We will not be intimidated or silenced by threats of violence. Our demands for action against illegal mining and for environmental justice remain urgent and we will continue to raise our voices until meaningful, cha meaningful change is achieved. We call on all Ghanaians, all of you, yes. the time to stand up is now. We cannot sit by while our rights are trampled upon and our voices silenced. We urge every young Ghanaian who believes in a just and fair society to mass up a 37 truck truck station tomorrow. From there, we will march together towards Elwak, where we will gather, regroup, and re-strategize re for the days ahead. This is our fight, our moment, and our future. Let us show the world that we are ready to defend our rights and environment and our country. Come with your energy, your passion, and your unwavering spirit. Together, we will make our voices heard. Free, free roads Safo and the 15 others, a new Ghana beckons. Chobwe! Chobwe! Hey. Chobwe! Hey. What was it? If the police want to engage with us, we are ready. Otherwise, we are carrying on. They can arrest us all, 62, 8 years old. We will all go inside. We don't give a damn. This is our children's future. Yes. Thank you.